Welcome. In front of me I have the Realme C21Y and today I'll show you well, unboxing along with a quick overview of this phone. So anyway, I just jump straight into the unboxing of it and there we go. Now I do have to give props to Apple for including some like the nicer packaging where you get to rip it off easily but obviously this phone is uh, nowhere near the same price so yeah so we just pop it open i have a fairly budget packaging right here with just a really thin cardboard uh, and here we get some paperwork and uh, nothing else as you can see then under here we get the phone we actually get a charger and a cable and the charger is a what is this oh that's a bad charger that's a 10 watt charger oh, that that stings uh, honestly at that point i don't know why they included the charger it's barely any faster than plugging the cable to your computer and charging it off of there but anyway, and here we get the phone. It looks like it already has a pre-applied screen protector, as you can see kind of through the... I shine the light in there. You can see this edge. So that's the screen protector. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll just jump to the specs. So we have a, a 6.5 inch display with a resolution of 720 by 1600. It's an LCD IPS with a, a typical brightness of about 400 nits. Also, it boasts an 81.6% screen to body ratio with a 270 uh, pixels per inch. So this is basically what you expect from like a, a low-end device or low to mid mid-end device. Although mid-range phones nowadays also have a 1080p resolution, which puts it about close to 400 pixels per inch. So this is a little bit off. Uh, now, when it comes down to cameras, uh, which are at the back, we have a triple camera setup. We have a 30 megapixel ultra wide, and then we have two non-existent uh, cameras like. 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth. Um, might as well not have included those cameras because they're absolute garbage. And at the front we have a 5 megapixel wide. And this phone is taking a while to turn on. So moving on to the, oh there we go, uh, to the setup I guess. I'm gonna quickly jump through this assuming it allows me to go quickly through it. There we go. Set up offline and So moving on with the specs outside of the camera, we have a uh, Unisec uh, processor, so it's T610. I honestly have no idea what this processor is, so I can't really judge it. By judging by how long the device was turning on, it's basically something from a like a low-end shelf. And uh, outside of that, we have a couple of versions. We have a 3 gigabyte RAM or 4, 4 gigabyte RAM with uh, with 32 gigabytes of storage or 64. Now depending on which one you go, if you go with a 32 you're locked to 3 gigs of RAM and if you go with a 64 you get 4 gigs of RAM. And the phone that I have right here has... Where's the sticker? There we go. So the one that I have right here is the higher model, the 4 and 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 storage, so it should perform better than the lower or lower version of it because it has more RAM. And let's see that peak brightness right here. So boom, okay, this, oof, that's not bright at all. Let's, okay, it's not bright off angle. It gets, it gets what I would typically use in terms of brightness in a normal indoor, indoor state. So outdoors, this screen will suffer probably quite severely or you will struggle with actually seeing it. So anyway, uh, what else we get here? We got 5,000 milliamp hour battery with a 10 watt charger, and uh, that's basically it. We get a fingerprint sensor at the back. We get. Oh no! No, why? And I'm not saying why the headphone jack. I'm saying why the micro USB. 
when was this device released? Uh, June 21st of 2021. What the absolute f is this doing here? It's 2021. Get this trash out of the phone. No phone should have this jack. It is so outdated that it has literally no reason to be even included in anything anymore. Uh, this is kind of frustrating. I was gonna say the device uh, probably for like, what is it, 200 bucks or whatever the price of it is. Let me quickly check. Because uh, I actually have no clue how much it costs. So I'm gonna quickly see how, what, what's the price of it? So I would really like to see a price in dollars. Or maybe my currency, let's see. Okay, so it's a phone for about 130, right? Something, something along those lines, 130 to 150 maybe? Yeah, $150 uh, to be basically at a store, uh, at Realme. Uh, that is with uh, me converting from my currency though. So I don't know how that will exactly translate, but it should be somewhere around 150 bucks. Uh, for 150 bucks, I can't recommend this at all. So yeah, uh, that that kind of finishes up this. 150 bucks for a phone that uh, has some really weird processor uh, display that doesn't get too bright. Um, has a uh, micro USB charging port and. Uh, fairly limited specs for that price no uh, i don't care if it's catering to budget if you want a budget for 150 bucks uh, go with a different device i did make a couple of videos already on different budget devices uh, that i most certainly would recommend i know xiaomi has some uh, that are okay obviously uh, if we're looking at budget okay is what you're looking for uh, this is not okay this is uh, trash in my opinion I, I would not want to use this primarily because of the port the battery here seems to be okay but 10 watt charger is just laughable um the port here again just an absolute insult so yeah uh, go with something like a xiaomi or there was also another brand which i did not too long ago which also did fairly okay i uh, had a type c port had a decent battery and so on so look somewhere else and not in here so that'll conclude the overview right here. Don't recommend it. That's basically the gist of it. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.